Hey guys, so today I want to compare my Samsung Galaxy S4 versus the Galaxy Mega 6.3 uh, which is Samsung's new uh, new uh, series here called the Mega. They have a, another Mega phone as well called the Mega 5.8 and that one of course is 5.8 inch big. This one, the Mega 6.3 is of course 6.3 inch big. It's bigger than the Note 2 it is Samsung's like biggest phone ever right now. And yes, you can actually use it. It doesn't feel super weird, but yes, it's it's the big deal. It's, it's the big stuff as well. Uh, so in this video, I wanna compare it against the S4 a little bit in the browser and check it out. Uh, talk a little bit here uh, about experience. Now, as you probably already do know with the, the, uh, the Mega 6.3, this is obviously a device that you most of the time uh, when you use the device, you will use it with two hands. And the good thing with a big phone as well, of course, is that when you are inside of the browser, uh, all right, Okay, I got lost there, but uh, I remember when I bought the first Galaxy Note phone that's bigger than the S4 and S3 and S2. It's not like it's normal lineup of phones. The Note, of course, is bigger. Uh, the cool thing, amazing what, with it was that it was super big for its age or for its time, five inch in 2011 late. Uh, the good thing is that when you put it on the table, I'm a guy that usually put my device on the table. So if you put it on the table like this, uh, and then did your surfing on the device, uh, then it was totally, totally amazing. And of course, the same thing here goes uh, with the new Mega 6.3 uh, phone. Let's go back. So, of course, uh, we can talk about the full specs on these phones, but of course, in this video, uh, I just want to talk about the, the browser experience most of the time. And the first, th first thing that we can say about the browsers is that we do get some more features, of course, uh, with the S4. Uh, some extra features here because it is Samsung's flagship device. So you do get some, uh, let's see here. So we do get some extra features like smart scroll. Uh, that's basically a feature where we can scroll uh, up and down with our hand hovering across a sensor. Uh, so if you just enable it, enable it first. Or it could be the add gesture feature. But you can also use smart scroll, which is basically a pretty cool epic way to scroll up and down used by looking at the bottom of the page uh, with your eyes. Uh, so that is a pretty cool feature, but then we have smart scroll. So when you hover across the uh, the sensor, it goes up and down. Sometimes it could be a little bit annoying the first time you use it. Sometimes you accidentally activate it, and uh, when you don't want to do it, and that could definitely be uh, a little bit annoying. And then of course we do have air view here, uh, which is a feature that let's see if we can enable it. One of my new, one of my favorite features actually, actually, there air view. So you don't even have to touch the display, but if you just hover over some text, see if it works. It seems like I can have some problems on the Verge website. There we go. You can see that I don't even have to touch the display. Now I seem to be having some problems here definitely with uh, the Verge, but you can see that this is perfectly if you are in school or something and you don't want to see anyone playing with your device and you can't read the text and you just want to hoover over, you have just a quick glance and of course this works in a lot of other areas of the S4 as well. Uh, this is a feature that also should be available inside of the Mega though, uh, but you don't get uh, those cool eye, uh, eye things that you can go up and down with the page uh, or add gesture uh, on the uh, the Mega, but Smart Stay, as, or wait, it's like AirView, as you can see over there, it should work. I didn't get it to work the first time. I did try it out. Let's see this time. So for some reason, I seem to be having some problems activating it. Maybe uh, I need to do something in the settings area. Uh, so, if you also talk about the display now, uh, when we talk, so you get a little bit extra features here, and of course, right now I'm also comparing uh, the stock browsers. Most people probably will uh, go in and uh, 
Most people will probably go in and uh, use the Google Chrome browser. Uh, but if we look at the display quality over here, so you might think that this is the AMOLED display that you get on the Mega 6.3, but no, that's not the case. Uh, it is more like an LCD display from what I can understand. It's not the AMOLED display. Uh, the good thing with the LCD display though is, the first the bad thing of course is the viewing angles isn't as good uh, from what I've seen when you look at it from the sides. Now I'm not an expert on that, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. Uh, let's just quickly disable <sighs> our gesture. There we go. So uh, I'm not an expert on this, as I said, but of course it seems for me personally that the AMOLED display here has way better viewing angles than the LCD display that you do get, and also some better colors. Uh, but if you talk about the color white, uh, it actually seems, if you ask me, that white looks a little bit better white here uh, on the uh, the Galaxy Mega because it seems like LCD displays for some reason can display it pretty good. So it's not a super horrible display, especially when you're looking at it from the front side. Uh, you won't really see uh, that of a big difference. And you can also see here that, of course, the Galaxy Mega doesn't have as high in specs as the Galaxy S4, but when you go in and out, of course, we are at the phase uh, now where you don't really see a difference when you zoom in and out. It's a super crystal clear text on both, and you can go up and down on both, and has to do some rendering here, which still kind of sucks uh, that it has to do some re-rendering here. It would be nice if you just could quickly render the whole page and then you, so that you can zoom in and it doesn't have to re-render. Now that's just small things, of course, it's, it's not a major deal. Uh, and of course, if you, if you are like me, you have your phone on a table, and then if you're browsing websites and stuff, uh, it won't really, really make a difference if the phone is big. You wanna have a big display, and then uh, the Galaxy Mega is, is an awesome phone. Uh, but for normal usage, of course, uh, it will be a little bit of a difference here. because usually this phone is some, uh, the Mega usually you will probably use two hands with it. You can see here, it loads up here, both these. Uh, the Galaxy Mega also is a 4G phone, and uh, same here with my, with my S4, so you re really shouldn't see a difference over there. You can also see when we go up and down here, I'm not sure, is it faster? No, it does seem to be the same here in, in scrolling as well. If you double tap on some text, you can see that both zooms in there very, very quick. So, very, very nice as well. Uh, speaking about the screen resolution, of course, uh, you will see some little bit bigger text here on, on the Mega. Uh, so you get a 720p uh, screen here on the Mega, which of course has lower PPI, it's the same resolution as the Galaxy Note 2, but the Galaxy Note 2 has a smaller display, 5.5 inch, so you get higher pixels per inch, so better pixel pixel density uh, if you read a lot of text. But most of the times, if you don't read text that's super small, you won't really notice that of a big difference. But of course, with the S4 here, it has a 1080p screen. You will see a much, 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 uh, much, much, much uh, better and crisp, crystal clear text. Uh, if you, especially if you read small text, uh, you will definitely see a difference there that it's it's a little bit more top-notch, uh, but for the most, m most of the times, uh, it's not gonna be that of a big deal. Uh, and also what we can see right now, this time again, is that white looks so good on the Mega 6.3. Uh, AMOLED display almost display white a little bit yellowish, or that the display is a little bit darkish here uh, compared to uh, the Mega. You can also see that I have, uh, on both these two devices, I have full, full, uh, full, 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 full brightness. And if we go into the display area on these two devices and go into the screen mode, let's see here if you go and change for that display here also. Uh, so we do have the same screen modes on both these two devices. As you can see, you can still see that white looks actually better here uh, on. Uh, 
on the LCD display. Not really sure why the uh, LC, uh, why the AMOLED display isn't as good in white, but definitely uh, black colors uh, should definitely be displayed probably a little bit better uh, on the uh, on the AMOLED display, and especially when you're watching movies, when you have a lot of colors, uh, that that that's a different little thing there. And I might go over that in another video. This one mostly is a browse, browse, uh, browsing video. Uh, so to sum it up. You get some extra features here in the S4, some smart scroll features, and every actually did work here uh, when I did try it out, as you can see over here. Uh, but for some reason, I can't really get it to work here uh, on the megaphone, uh, which I'm really not sure why. Maybe if we go into the settings here. Oops, okay, it wasn't really activated. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it works perfectly. Uh, so, actually nice now that it fully does work. Uh, but yeah, it's quickly a video here comparing it. Of course, you shouldn't really see uh, that of a big deal in, in terms of speed performance. Should be kind of the same here. But you can see that the S4 is a little bit quicker here and it's not weird, costs a little bit more money, has um, has a better processor uh, and GPU, so a little bit quicker over there and can also have a later, or it does have actually a later version of Android uh, from Samsung himself. Uh, we can go into the settings area here and check it out. See here, okay, I do have actually Android 4.2.2, but I do still believe that I installed a, a newer version here uh, on, see here, yeah, you get Android 4.2 there at the bottom page. Uh, so yeah, a quick little look here, uh, browse comparison if you want to see anything specific. I might probably also do a full review comparing everything, uh, but not this time. Have a good day.